Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies of liberty Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies Let it resound loud as the rolling sea Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of a new day begun, let us march on till victory is one stony the road we trod bit of the chassing rod felt in the days when hope unborn had died yet with the steady beat had not our weary feet Come to the place for which our parents sighed. We have come over a way that with tears has been watered. We have come treading our path through the blood of the slaughter. Out from the gloomy path till now we stand at last. Where the white gleam of our bright star is cast. To the graduating class of 2020, we embraced a new decade and welcome 2020 as the year of clear vision. With high hopes for a new beginning, a month or so into the year, a global pandemic shook us at our core, the core of who we are and what we know our lives to be. In what seemed like an instant, our daily typical routines changed. We no longer greeted each other in the morning, the hallways, or in classrooms. The noisy hallways became bland with deafening silence and distance learning crept in to replace the traditional classroom setting. Although you might not be having a classic style graduation this year or not be walking the stage, you made it to the proverbial finish line. You are completing your K through 12 career and are a part of the global family of students who are walking into a new chapter of life, whether it be college, career, the military, or just becoming an adult. Your hard work and dedication to academia has not gone unnoticed. Your commitment to your future remains solid. Even through uncertain and unpredictable times, COVID-19 and racial injustice are not going to stand in the way of your dreams, desires, and paths. The class of 2020 has proven resilient through distance learning, has prevailed in virtual classes, and will prove stronger because of it. The class of 2020 is special. Don't ever forget the long hours you spent cramming for course exams, the relentless loss of sleep as you pulled all-nighters to finish your course projects and papers, the fun you had at sport events, the laughs you shared in the hallways or the back steps of the W building, pulling your uniform shirt out of your backpack at a whim's notice or sneaking to check your social media page in the middle of class. Even though this year was very different after school closures due to COVID-19, you'll never forget 2020. It will forever be a part of history, and so will you. I believe in you. Your school community believes in you, and your families believe in you. Your future is bright, hopeful, promising, and your vision is clear. Class of 2020, you are one of a kind. Thank you to our amazing teachers, support staff, parents and families, 
and school community for planting seeds of greatness into our esteemed students. Thank you. Good afternoon, City Honors Jaguars. As Inglewood Unified School District's County Administrator, it is my honor and privilege to officially address you as City Honors Amazing Graduating Class of 2020. To say the least, we are in extraordinary, unprecedented times. But I have to say, who better to represent City Honors Class of 2020 than an extraordinary, unprecedented group of scholars who have persevered, endured, and excelled through what no one has ever experienced before. I am not surprised. It is well known that within the halls of Inglewood Unified School District schools, including City Honors, are some of the most resilient, powerful, and persevering leaders of this nation. Take a moment to soak that in. You are remarkable in a way that many others will never know. I truly believe that this unique experience that you have had not only reflects the entirety of your journey from kindergarten through 12th grade, your commitment, your diligence, your setting and achieving goals, but it also foretells what you are about to bring into this world as you go on to the next chapter in your life. So I say, bring it. I would like to also take a moment to honor your parents, families, teachers, and other school staff who have supported to help you to get here today. We salute all of those who've stood beside you, behind you, and with you. Congratulations to you for a job well done. Let's take a second to give them a hand. That spirit of perseverance in the face of adversity clearly shows that you are ready for whatever you face on your journey. It also is evidence that you will not only succeed, you will thrive. While this may not be the experience you expected, City Honors Class of 2020 graduates, you have been unified by it. This experience has given you insight, and this insight will undoubtedly compel you to bring about change in society that disrupts and dismantles the circumstances and inequities our world faces. What you have sown through this shared experience with your fellow graduates are seeds of change and solidarity. Going forward and for generations to come, something uniquely special will forever be attached to those who are part of the class of 2020. Over 55 years ago, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. declared that we cannot walk alone, and as we walk, we must make the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back. We all know that we are living in a moment in history that won't be just a line or two in our history books. We are writing chapters in history, and you, as young adults, are lead authors of this narrative. In the midst of a pandemic, while concurrently fighting for social justice and breaking down institutional racism, discrimination, and systemic inequities in our society, we have witnessed our community beyond race, ethnicity, age, and gender come together. We absolutely cannot tackle these issues separately. As you move forward in your lives beyond city honors, continue to remember that we are more powerful when we come together. We must rely on one another, leverage a collective effort, and unify to make an impact. Your journey will continue to include your fellow class of 2020 graduates, your support system around you, and even strangers who are beyond your inner circle. 
By living through these times and graduating today, despite the countless challenges that you have endured, you have displayed the courage and determination to be true agents of change our world needs. I bring us back to the quote of Dr. King, we cannot walk alone, and as we walk, we must make the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back. I am convinced, graduates, that you will move our community, our society, and our nation forward because the time is now and we cannot turn back. This experience has empowered you to solve the problems we have struggled with for decades. One thing is for sure, and I firmly believe you know that you can conquer anything. Your class represents the best of Inglewood Unified. You make us proud. Once again, congratulations. This is Coach Sean McVeigh with the LA Rams. Uh, just wanted to congratulate you guys and let you know that uh, I know these are certainly unprecedented times that we're going through. We're missing out on things that we're typically accustomed to, but what I love the most about our country, when we see some adversity, tough times don't last, tough people do. And there's never been a greater time for us to really bond together, uh, making sure that, that we're really leaning on our family, friends, but also establishing a rhythm. Let's identify what are the things that I can do to get better right now and use this extra time that this coronavirus has given us to really maximize the moment, to truly produce in the present? Those are the things that, that really are going to serve us well because I uh, don't know when the time comes, but we're going to get back to some sense of normalcy sooner than later. And the people that are handling this in the right way developing their strengths, being balanced, being able to take care of themselves physically, mentally, emotionally, and then also focus on picking up some things that I can do better, All right, whether it's a more consistent workout routine, whether it's reading a little bit more, learning about the things that you're passionate about that will help set you up for success in your next step. But uh, can't say enough about just how much I, I, I want to congratulate you guys on what a special accomplishment this is um, with you all the way awesome stuff. And let's make sure we come out of this thing better than what we went into it. And if we have that right mindset and mentality, we will do that. And I'm with you guys all the way. Greetings to the parents, teachers, and the fellow graduates of the class of 2020. I am truly honored to be the recipient of the National Honor Society Award I thank you, and I give this award to my very own mother, who has done everything out of her way to make sure I was never lacking, even after my sudden migration to the United States six years ago after my dad's death. Oftentimes, we as women tend to downplay our success or major accomplishments. We tend to not want to occupy space. I grew up in a household by a strong mother and an even stronger sisters, whose characteristics of scholarship, leadership, and service is reflected in my every step. And to them, I thank you. To them, I give this award. My mom was a very fan of humbling our own self even when she did very major achievement. I've decided to embrace this moment in writing my speech in honor of my mom and celebrating our achievements together. But before I do, I just wanna say thank you to the unconditional love and support to the City Honors family who have stuck behind me throughout these four years, who have created an environment where I get to be inspired, inspire, and create without limitation. In writing this moving forward, I do want to stress that moving forward, everything I say will be actually the very opposite of what I will actually mean. So please laugh out loud with me. National Honor Society recipient, check. Chick Evans Scholar, check. I'll step into my number one school, check. And as Nigerians say, Nigeria they carry last. As a leader and an entrepreneur at City Honors, this basically translates to, I did all of this by myself. That being said, to Emmanuel, Valeria, Brianna, Andrea, and Asia, and to the rest of the fruits who stuck by me even when I couldn't believe in myself and who saw the potential in me even though I was blind. Y'all some losers. You not could have done this without you. Let's not play around. And to my teacher and to Dr. Araya, 
and to my counselor who were always there for extra tutoring and gave me guidance when I needed it. I'll be honest, you just looked really lonely and I was just trying to be some help. I just, I just thought you might need some company. I didn't really need the help. I'm stressing that out. And to anybody else whom I've claimed that they brought me up here, okay, and? So in conclusion, to the class of 2020, I encourage you to encourage yourself and I encourage our parents to let your children wear their success with pride. We deserve this. Encourage them to occupy spaces that they have created. Encourage them to be successful. To the class of 2020, congratulations. This is what it means to be a national honor recipient. A leader till I die, I deserve this. Bye. If there were ever a time to dare, to make a difference, to embark on something worth doing, it is now. Not for any grand cause necessarily, but for something that tugs at your heart, something that is worth your aspiration, something that is your dream. You owe it to yourself to make your days count. Have fun, dig deep, stretch, dream big. Know though that things worth doing seldom come easy. There will be times when you want to turn around, pack it up and call it quits. Those times tell you that you are pushing yourself and that you are not afraid to learn by trying, persist. Because with an idea, determination and the right tools, you can do great things. Let your instincts, your intellect, and let your heart guide you. Trust. Believe in the incredible power of the human mind of doing something that makes a difference, of working hard, of laughing and hoping, of lasting friends, of all the things that will cross your path. Next year, the start of something new brings the hope of something great. Anything is possible. There is only one you, and you will pass this way but once. There is only one you, and you will pass this way but once. There is only one you, and you will pass this way but once. There is only one you, and you will pass this way but once. Greetings, everyone. It is my privilege to extend a heartfelt welcome to Dr. Araya, parents, family, friends, faculty, and staff. Thank you for all being here to mark this special moment with our class, the class of 2020. As we come to an end of our K-12 education, we look back at all the special moments that have shaped our aspirations, future career paths, personal goals, and overall distinct personalities that we now bear. We gleefully prepared to make our last year the most memorable, but our plans were sadly canceled due to the unprecedented times that we are currently going through. Although the class of 2020 and I are deeply saddened by the cancellation of our activities and not being able to hold our cer this ceremony in person, it does not compare to the sadness we are feeling from experiencing a worldwide pandemic and racial injustices that emerge from racial profiling in the United States. I respectfully ask for us to keep the people that have lost their lives due to these events in our thoughts and prayers. When I remember my time at City Honors, I don't just automatically turn to the academic side of things. I could easily ramble on about all the wonderful courses that our school offered, including dual enrollment with community colleges and different pathway programs that could easily inspire a fellow classmate to pursue specific careers. However, I would like to focus on the connections we made with our teachers and peers. Although our school is recognized for being relatively small, we, could, we took advantage of that trait and treated each other like family. Almost all of our peers in each class would help each other succeed despite keeping friendly competition. I can recall the various times that AP Calculus class and I would work together by reviewing the lessons on the whiteboard before starting a test. We couldn't have made it through high school without the help of our amazing teachers and staff. Without the help of each teacher, Dr. Araya and Ms. Williams, we wouldn't have been able to pass our classes and submit our transcripts to colleges or vocational schools. A teacher I would like to give special thanks to is my physics teacher, Mr. Bradley. His passion for the subject not only kept my classmates and I engaged, but also made me consider having physics be strongly incorporated in the major I would choose to study in university. He has inspired me to continue researching and order to one day make advancements in the field of STEM. 
Thank you, Mr. Bradley, as well as my other teachers who have supported me in my active journey towards engineering and medicine. Before I officially end my speech, I want to thank my family for all their support and helping me to get to where I am now. I would like to give special recognition to my grandparents, Rafael and Inocencia Gutierrez. They have supported me and remained by my side ever since I was born and still to this day. Sadly, my grandpa is no longer with us due to his passing back in 2018, 2018, but I hope he knew how grateful I am to have received his and my grandma's immense love, attention, and care. I truly love them. To the class of 2020, you are all bright and resilient people. I know you will all achieve great things in life and bring positive impact to our society. I wish you all luck in your personal and academic endeavors as well as future aspirations. Thank you. Greetings, students, staff, teachers, parents, and everyone within the Inglewood community. I am extremely honored to speak here today. I want to start by extending my thanks to all the people who have shaped who I am today. I want to thank my teachers. There are people who have not only taught me academic subjects, but also taught me ways to enrich my academic tenure within Inglewood Unified. I want to thank my counselor, Ms. Williams, who has been with me every step of the way since I have stepped foot into City Honors. I want to thank Dr. Araya, who I can say is one of my favorite teachers. She is a very capable woman who I believe deserves to lead City Honors in the future. I want to thank my friends and classmates who have taught me many things that I will take with me into college and into my career. I want to thank my parents who have immeasurably supported my education and my academic pursuits. My parents have sacrificed so much for me to be where I am at today. That is why I want to dedicate this achievement to my family who have been with me since day one. Finally, my biggest thanks goes to God for wonderful parents, a wonderful brother, and a wonderful sister. I want to thank God for letting me meet my classmates who have elevated me and teachers who believed in me. I thank God for all the successes and accomplishments I have made up until this point. Becoming valedictorian has been a goal that I have been reaching towards since I graduated from elementary. Starting from elementary, I've always been competitive about school and sought to be the best in all my classes. My love for learning and my drive to excel is what has been propelling me throughout middle school and now high school. However, that is not to say that I did not encounter any setbacks or obstacles, but when I did, I had the support of my friends and family to keep me afloat. Even at my lowest point when I doubted my abilities and my self-worth, they reassured me and encouraged me to ride out the rocky waves. As I walk towards the future for myself and my peers, I am filled with anticipation, excitement, and trepidation. I feel anticipation towards the new connections and strong bonds that I will make during college. I feel excited about the various materials I will study and the experiences I will share on my path to being a lawyer and politician. I feel trepidation because I am not aware of what the future will bring. However, I face this feeling knowing that I am not alone on my journey. As I meet new challenges and obstacles, I am filled with complete confidence that nothing will impede me to achieving my dreams or my personal legend, as some would say. Also, I have full faith in my classmates. My class is filled with individuals who are not only high achievers like myself, but they are people filled with conviction, determination, and passion. They are people who inspired me every day to bring my best at school. That is why I believe the friendships that I have made will be everlasting and that we will continue to support each other like family. Finally, I want to say that I am happy, just happy, happy that I was able to achieve this milestone of my life with God making all of this possible for me. Lastly, I and my peers will be on a certain path. However, I am certain about this. We will make it to the finish line called success and make it there with our loved ones cheering us all the way. Thank you.
Congratulations, class of 2020. You made it. But what did you make it into? You made it into a year of justice. Amidst a global pandemic and a crisis and a violation of our social contract, you made it through. Now, while I know it's a difficult time and you might be wondering how can we be positive in such a moment, I want you to remember that you worked hard to get here, that your diligence helped you achieve and accomplish this milestone. To the parents and families of our graduates, I applaud your hard work and lift up your sacrifices to ensure that your student made it this far. I know it hasn't been easy over four years, and especially in the past few months, it's been extremely difficult. But you crossed the finish line together. To our alumni and community members, thank you for investing in our young folk to ensure that they had opportunity. Those of you who helped to make sure they had prom dresses and got them scholarships and ensure that they had books and supplies when they needed. To our teachers and our staff, you are our heroes. You've been out there on the front lines for years and I think everyone's realized how important your leadership has been to ensure that all of our children can thrive. To our community, let's continue to lift up our graduates. Their diplomas represent achievement and success. And while this world seems a bit uncertain right now, they're still a reflection of their ability to run the race and make it through. This day and your graduation should remind you of completion and not necessarily the end of a journey. No, in fact, your journey has just begun. So as a class of 2020, in the year of justice, be sure to take what you've learned this year, be sure to use it in your future. Be sure to take your journey and transform the lives of people so we can make this a better world. We can't do it without you, we won't do it without you, and we can't go back. Dr. Torres, according to the laws of the state of California and the regulations as established by the Inglewood Unified School District Board of Education, I hereby certify that the City Honors Class of 2020 has met all the requirements and I present this class to you as candidates for graduation. As the County Administrator, of the Inglewood Unified School District and on behalf of the faculty and your principal, I accept the class of 2020. And on behalf of the Inglewood Unified School District Board of Education, I acknowledge that each of you has met the standards for receiving a high school diploma or certification as set forth by the State Board of Education and the Inglewood Unified School District Board of Education. I confer to each of you your high school diploma with all of the rights, honors, and opportunities appertaining thereto. Valeria Alcala. Brianna Arredondo. Diane Austin. Jaquan Banks. Kayla Banks. Nairobi Banks. Stephanie Barajas. Antonio Bowie Jr. Deja Brown. Maribel Carbajal. Maria Carrillo. Laura Castillon. Carla Chavez. Dion 
Martin Childress. Marietta Collar. Jose Cortez. Tanaya Cox. Kimberly Cruz. Samaya Daniels. Bezuit Donna. Cicely Dido. Laura Del Cid Palacios. Andrea Diaz. Joshua Diaz. Matthew Diaz. Yanni Diaz. Carrington Dillon. Deja Dupree. Kalia Edwards. Emmanuel Ehigalua. Helen Inila Lobo. Jayla Fleming. Daniel Garcia. Amelie Gomez. David Gomez. Jonathan Gomez. Whitley Gonzalez. Wilmy Gonzalez. Zion Graves Green. Brandon Guadron. Christian Guadron. Harry Gutierrez Samayoa. Jayla Hall. Simone Hambrick. Elise Harvey. Sierra Hayes. America Herrera. Michael Heron. Samaje Hester. Jared Haywood. Brige Hooper. Asia Hunt. Tiffany Jackson. Maximus Jacko Lopez. Mitchell Ku Campos. Montana George Lamonius Craig. Kennedy Lewis. Imani Lucas. Lydia Mabamije. Amari Matthews. Madison McDaniel. Aliyah McIntosh. Tatiana Mulugeta. 
Jasmine Newman. Ajani Nickpe. Darnell Nunley. Aliyah Odom. Luis Orozco. Alexander Ortega. Jesse Ortiz. Pierce Penzella. Leslie Perez. Melissa Ramirez. Brandon Richards. Darian Ritchie. Juan Rivera. Aliyah Robitu. Ashley Salas. Stephanie Salcedo. Alexis Solomon. Zariah Sheard. Joshua Smith. Emily Solis. Crystal Spraun. Lauren Stevens. Kalia Thompson. Ariel Uyoa. Stephanie Valdivinos. Stephanie Valle. Michelle Bia Vicencio. Damage Williams. Olivia Williams. Timothy Williams. Kalia Williams Hicks. City Honors Class of 2020, please stand. On the count of three, we will move our tassels from right to left to finalize our graduation ceremony. Here we go. One, two, three, move your tassels. Congratulations. 